Hey guys, what's up? This is a insert video because there's something I wanted to kind of talk about in my giveaway, but my wine lipstick video is pre-recorded, so which is why I'm still going to have my pink hair in that video. But as you can see, I've moved on. Um, I don't know if the light shows it. I actually have blue hair. I'm so happy. Um, it's dark blue, but it's a lot brighter in person. <laughs> trust me and um someone actually pointed out that it is similar to what schumann had for their love me right japanese album i think but a lot darker so yeah just think schumann's color but a lot darker but that's not what i'm going to talk about today um first of all i wanted to say sorry for the delay for this video i see like i apologize a lot but i recently hurt my foot and I've just been through hell. It's just been really sore and haven't been going to school or work because I just couldn't walk and I'm still in the middle of healing right now as well. Um, but yeah, it's like long overdue that wine lipstick video, um, but it is ready and I hope you guys will enjoy it. And fun fact, I'm wearing one of them right now today and it's so pretty. It looks really red and like on camera, I think. But in person, it's actually a lot darker, a lot more berry-ish, and I really like that because, you know, that's like the kind of colors that I go for. But, okay, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, the thing that I want to talk to you about is um, one of the rules in my current giveaway, as you guys know, I'm currently doing my first giveaway. I will link all the info, the video. There goes my neighbor and his mower. Where was I? Oh yeah, giveaway. So um, I'm making this video just to kind of make an adjustment, I guess, to the giveaway because I, although I haven't read all the entries, I've seen something that was reoccurrent and I, I guess I just, I, I'll, I'll change it. I'll kind of not change it, but tweak it a bit um, so that I guess a lot more of you guys can enter. So I will link everything down below including the video and again all the giveaway rules just so you guys will know just in case you want to enter because um 9th or 10th i believe i totally forgot that so october 9th or 10th one of those that is when the competition will close one of the giveaway rules that was there was you guys had to follow me on snapchat now i know that everyone has twitter and instagram and stuff so it's totally easy and a lot more easier to um follow me on but snapchat i guess not everyone has it um and although it's popular it's not as popular so i will tweak that so the rules from before one of the rules was that you had to follow me on snapchat i will now leave that up as an optional um thing so these are the final rules. Um, the first rule is you must be subscribed to this channel, of course. It's easy, there's a button somewhere down there. Um, you must follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My name for all of my social sites are exactly the same, Ina Speaks. And also just answering the following three questions, I believe. Who's your favorite EXO member? What's your favorite EXO song? And why do you love EXO? Um, and yeah, the Snapchat thing is optional. You guys can follow me on Snapchat if you want to. Um, it's again the same as my other one, but you don't have to for this giveaway. So if you've done all the other things, but you don't have Snapchat, you're in like you're still eligible um, to win for my giveaway. Um, but thank you for those who are following me on Snapchat. I haven't really posted anything on there because I've been sick and I just haven't been for anything um but i am slowly getting back into it um just kind of busy right now because it's the last few weeks of uni left and i really need to like focus if this girl's gonna graduate um but yeah i think that's pretty much it i just wanted to say that and without further ado here is that long-awaited video i hope you guys enjoy it and i will talk to you in my next video and let me know what you guys think of the hair. Do you like it? I actually really like it. Um, I think I prefer darker look, like darker color on me personally. And it's really fun. I don't think it shows quite well on camera. But if you were in person, like if you saw me in person, honestly, that blue is just so bright. But yeah, for reference, have a look at XO Love Me Right, the Japanese version. And have a look at Schumann's blue hair. That is all.
Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with a new video and in today's video I will be doing an unboxing of this. Um, I haven't really opened it but I'm pretty sure I know what it is and if I'm right that should be the title of this video. And they're just bubble wrapped and I have them! So I have them right here, so I'm right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have the EXO lipstick. So if you guys don't know um, what those are, um, if you have listened to Lotto, um, they do mention Chateau lipstick. And I found them and I found out where you could buy them and I decided to try two out. They have so many colors, they actually have like two sets, they have um, one set where it's the pinks like it's kind of like pinky orangey like really bright colors and then they also have another set which so when I decided to go for which is a lot more darker um and like you guys know I really love dark lipstick again I have I still have unicorn blood on my lips which is from Jeffree Star which is the lipstick I'm so obsessed with um but I'm so excited to get these and I heard that they're actually sold out um in stores um I heard that I saw that on one of like a Facebook page and they <laughs> said that they're actually sold out. So the power of EXO once again. Um, but I found these online so if you guys are interested in getting them, I think they're still available. You can get these from, um, no you can get these in two places. There's actually two versions of this. There's the, um, this is the wine lipstick but you can get the wine lip tint. Um, I prefer lipsticks over lip tint. I love both. Um, but I actually wanted to try the lipstick. So the um, wine lip tint are actually available on K-Town for you. Last time I checked, they were actually sold out. But I think I just um, I saw it like a couple of days ago. Um, they are actually still available, so they're back on there again. So if you guys wanted to get the lip tint version, you should go check out K-Town for you. Um, but I wanted I said like the lipstick version and. I wasn't actually looking for these but I just saw them and I went ahead and bought them. So these ones, I got them from K-Pop Town. <laughs> Getting my websites mixed up. I got these from K-Pop Town and it's under their cosmetic section. If you just look, um, you can even just Google, I mean like put on the search bar, sorry, like wine lipstick and it will come up. The thing that I will say though, these are very pricey. Um, one lipstick is I think $18.50 um, US dollar. And US dollars and that's quite pricey um, but I really wanted to try them I would love to have gone more but I said they were really pricey so I went for two that I really wanted to try these two shades and if I end up loving them I might get the other shades so we'll see um, I didn't get the lip tint but I might actually go get them because they do look really interesting so I'm gonna shut up now <laughs> we're just gonna unbox these so yeah they're not actually like officially like exo lipstick like they're were made by SM but it's just that um, these ones are I'm guessing this is the brand right Labiot uh, I'm saying that right so I am just gonna do a swatch like a hand swatch on them just to see what they look like and then I will do an updated um, I don't know I'll update you guys on <laughs> like if I like the colors or not so the first one that I got is RD1, so this is in the shade in English, it's Malbec Burgundy. And that's what it says in Korean as well, so it's Malbec Burgundy. So it's Malbec Burgundy and Chateau Laviolette Wine Lipstick. And it says here, it's so it's made in Korea. Um, it says, the fitting lipstick wraps and smoothens the lips as the well-aged quality wine ingredient reacts to the optimal temperature of the lips. Cool, so it does have wine in the um, ingredient. That's really awesome. I thought it was just like a theme. Reacts to the optimal temperature of the lips, so maybe the longer you leave it on or something like that. <laughs> I'm not a beauty expert. By the way, I love lipstick. I love collecting lipsticks, but I'm not an expert, so <laughs> yeah. So this is the RD1. And then I also have RD03, which is in Cabaret... Cabaret Oh, Cabaret Red. <laughs> My Korean skills like... Ugh. So this is um, in Cabaret Red. This is RD03 and this is RD01. I didn't get RD02 for some reason. I don't know why, but I decided just to, just to try two. And if you can see just by the box, I don't know if you guys, if it shows. RD01, which is um, 
a little bit burgundy. It's a lot darker compared to um, RDO3, so I'm really excited about this one, actually. And let's just open this. I'm just going to open this one. This is the RDO1, and this is what the box looks like. It's really cute. It, mm, it's a box. I don't really know. But again, these are pricey, so let's see if they're worth it. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. This is what the bottle looks like. Um, it's it's like a miniature, like um, it's a miniature like wine bottle, but it's super duper long. So I mean, wine bottles usually aren't this long. Again, I don't know how to open this, but I'm gonna try to compare it to other lipsticks. So if you guys know the brand Lime Crime, I have Lime Crime the Velveteens. This is in Peacock, and it's actually the same size. If you can see that the same like length wise. And I also have Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in Androgyny. And this is what that one looks like. And I feel like this is a little bit taller. So just to get an idea of what the size is in case you guys have any of these products. And then I also have a Korean one from Etude House. This is the um I forgot what these are called, but they're the liquid lipstick. And this is what it looks like and this is the chateau lipstick and yeah so i don't know i don't even know if that helped you guys at all and it's so cute it looks like a wine bottle and i'm guessing that the color of the cap is the color of the lipstick i don't know how to oh okay so you have this and just lift this up and it that's the lid and it's so pretty i'm gonna swatch it for you guys it's a bit sheer i think you're gonna like need to put in like a lot of coat but it's a really pretty dark color the dark plumish color that's what it looks like and if i remember correctly oh cool and it has a if you take off the lid it has like a smudger is that what they are I guess this is to like make it a bit like less intense so if you actually have this and this is the color and you want to like smudge it out you can do that like so, so it's kind of like to make it into a tint almost so if you don't want that really pigment like really really intense color like what I would have on my lips right now and you want it kind of like a lip tint almost you would use a smudger and just smudge it so still the same color but it's definitely sheer and it's not as intense as when you first apply it so that's good to have just on top there just in case you want to have the lip color but not as intense again don't take my word for it that's just how i would probably do it so on this side you can see just how dark it is so that's how you would that's how i think it would appear if you were just applying it on its own but if you use this the smidger smudger smidger smudger i think that's it would look a little less intense but still has some color to it which is going to be what's on this side so i think that's quite cool because it gives you the option to you know make it less intense if that's what you prefer because i know that some just want a little bit of color on their lips but like not too intense like how i prefer it so it's it's good having the two options and i mean it's expensive so you'd want i guess the most out of it so this is that one and again this is in the shade rdo one this is the um, malbec burgundy okay and then we're gonna open this one which is a lot more bright red like your classic red i guess and this is in cabaret is it cabaret cabernet red sorry can't even like speak tonight this is what it looks like and again at the top it's a very like bright red <laughs> it's the same as the first one if you can just see at the top it actually just tell it just shows you the difference between the shades so let's see how i'm gonna like this one this is rd3 you guys it's so it's a lot more red it's definitely pinkish red compared to um rd1 so if you can see this is rd3 so this is Cabernet, Cabernet, I don't know, red, RD3, and then this is RD1, this is Marbic Burgundy, which I actually really, really love that because it's so dark. And now we're going to try to smudge it. So do the same thing. So you apply it and you just use 
a little smudger. Just gonna smudge it out. And there you go. So it's less intense. So it's a lot more sheer, definitely. So that one there. And it almost has, like, I don't know if it's just the lighting in my room, but it, it's kind of like, has a very pinkish, orangey undertone. So that's it the, there. So that's without smudging it, and that's after smudging it. So it's still really cool. I would definitely wear this. I love classic red, but this is, I'm vibing with this because it's so dark. And pretty oh they smell so good you guys and that is pretty much it now would I recommend them um if you are a exo fan and you want to collect exo related things I guess and I would um they're just a little bit pricey for me they're actually a lot more expensive than most k-pop albums so obviously if you had to pick I would say k-pop albums but if you do have some spare change or you would like to invest in some makeup products especially if you love lipstick like i do um then i suggest them you should get them because they're actually really cool and i love that they've attached like that smudger up the top because that's such a good idea i wish all lipsticks had that because you know sometimes you want a little bit of a color but you totally totally don't want like to completely lose it and stuff and you don't obviously don't want to smudge the lipstick with your fingers so that is such a good idea so but then again you can just buy a regular smudger and DIY it um, but these are really cool they smell nice the packaging is freaking cool like it's amazing wine lipstick duh and I thought it was just like their theme but it actually it says on here that it does have um, well-aged quality wine ingredient and it's supposed to react to the optimal temperature of your lips. So I don't know what that means, but I will find out when I wear these next. And they look really cool. They're just a bit pricey though. Um, but again, they're not like officially EXO's like official lipstick. Not that they would have a lipstick unless they come out with a com cosmetic line. Oh my god. You guys just imagine that like seven blush. Like shade aura. <laughs> not too high maintenance I hate lipsticks that I constantly have to reapply because I'm lazy I would prefer it like my perfect lipstick would be if I put it on first thing in the morning eat drink whatever and like do everything and it's still is the same like no lipsticks that perfect if there is let me know in the comments down below because I will buy it um but yeah I don't mind reapplying every now and again but I w won't do it like more than twice I would say so we'll see about just how long these last and if they're good for food drinking and stuff like that but so far I like the colors um not loving the price very pricey but I guess because they are like dubbed as EXO's lipstick and a lot of people obviously want them so maybe that's why they're being priced for a higher price but if you guys are from Korea um and you guys um, have seen these in stores. I, I know, definitely know they're selling in stores. Let me know how they cost there, because I don't know if that's just how the price is. Obviously, because you know, like we're inter like we're buying them internationally, or if that's really how much it costs, or if they even cost more in stores. So if you're from Korea and you have access to these, let me know how much they cost. And yeah, if you guys would like to get them, you can check out K-pop Town. I'm pretty sure they're still there. There's actually two different like links for it on K-pop Town. Um, there's one where they have the darker shades, which are these, and they have like a brighter pinkish orange toning set as well. So if you guys you have a choice, and I don't know if they have the wine lipstick. No, wine. I don't know if they have the wine lip tint on K-pop Town. I haven't really checked because I'm more of a lipstick girl. Um, but they are available on K Town for you. The lip tint. I don't think the lipsticks are available. So yeah, if you guys want to get them, you should go check out those websites. Um, just be prepared how much it is. I think on K Town for you, the lip tints are like sixteen dollars or something like that, U.S. dollars, which is crazy, crazy amount because lip tints are usually really cheap. I mean, the ones I buy, anyways. Um, but yeah, if you guys would like to invest, I suggest get them. Um, but other than that, that's it. This has been a really cool unboxing of these. I don't do makeup on my channel because I love makeup, but I'm not an expert at all. Like, I honestly don't do the whole... I'm not very good like, the eyeshadow. I put a little bit of eyeshadow, like, sparkling mascara, maybe eyeliner every now and again. But I love lipstick. Like, that's my thing. So, anything lipstick-related, 
I'm no girl. <laughs> that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a good day or night wherever it is you're from. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. And please enter my giveaway that's currently happening if you guys haven't already. Um, I will link the video all about my giveaway in the description box and probably somewhere in this video. So yes, I will talk to you guys in my next video. And again, if you want to talk to me, just say hey, be friends, whatever. You guys can send me a DM on Instagram, tweet me, or like even Snapchat, I think. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye!